So today I'm gonna show you how to work with the displace node and create some cool effects with it. So let's jump in the computer and let me show you how easy it is and how amazing the results are. So let's go. So here we are inside of the edit page and I already have here uh, an effect that I created with the dissolve. So as you can see, it's the, this, the text waving and moving. So let's see how we can create this and other stuff. So let's remove this and let's come here to the, to the media pool, right click, new fusion composition, and let's type uh, this place two because I already have the one, like you can leave it at five seconds, create. So let's go inside and here we are inside of the fusion page and we have our media out. So let's put our text and let's connect our text to the media out and let's type uh, resolve and I'm going to change the, the font and here the style and I'm going to increase a little bit. You can come here and go to the shading and add here an outline. In this case, I'm going to create an outline and I'm going to put it to black and I'm going to increase a little bit of the thickness of the outline. And I'm going to also change the color here, for example, like this. And we have our base and let's add our displace node. Also, let's shift space and type displace. And here we have the displace, not a 3D, the displace DSP and add it over here. So our displace node has uh, three inputs. So we have the standard input, the, um, the displace input. And here we have the foreground and here the mask. And we're going to use the foreground for the effect because if we come here to the displace and if we to move here the, the sliders, you don't see anything change because it's always need here the this connection. I'm going to use the fast noise and I'm going to connect the fast noise to over here and let's put the fast noise here in the viewer one and I'm going to increase a little bit of the scale of the fast noise and I'm going to also add some contrast and I'm going to adjust here a little bit of this so it's here now we can go to the displace node and in the displace you have two options we have the radial or the xy uh, displacement so the radial it works, you can come here and adjust it like this. It works in a radial shape. And if you go to the XY, we can work in both axes separately. Always I use the, this one, the XY, uh, instead of the, um, the radial. So you can come here to the X refraction and we can move it. So as you can see in the X axis, and if we come here to the Y, it will move in the Y. And I like to come here to the offset and put it to zero because I don't want any offset. So I want it in the center. So we can adjust this. Now let's go to our fast noise and let's animate our fast noise. So let's increase a little, increase the seed and the seed rate. So if we play it now, you can see that we have our text moving. So I'm gonna reduce a little bit because I don't want all that movement. I want little movement. And of course you can come now to the fast noise and adjust it the way you need. So if you give too much scale, it will do all of that and if you can come here and adjust the contrast so now it's almost it disappears the letters if you come here look you can notice but in my case i want it to come here and let's move the scale a little bit and i just want the scale is too much i I want it to look like it's underwater and it's just floating a little bit. So it's done. So the basically, but you can add more stuff. So we can add here a soft glow. And you can 
adjust this soft glow. You can increase the glow size and and you can come here to the reduce a little bit of the gain. You can change the threshold and the color space, but in this case, I'm going to leave it as it is. And you can move, adjust the blend. And of course, in the glow, if you want, you can add a, a mask. So you can add, for example, here a mask, and I'm going to connect it to here. And as you can see, the it's only glowing inside of the mask. So I like to increase a little bit of the width and want to put it like this and I'm going to add some soft edge. So now you can come and you can increase the glow size and again. So as you can see, it's only glowing in this area or you can come here and invert it. And now it's glowing outside. So you can do a lot of things with the glow and with the displays. Of course, you can use the displays with different uh, things. Like, for example, you can add an image or you can add a PNG file. Anything will work with the displays. Anything that is 2D, if you want to use uh, the displays in 3D, you have to use the displays 3D. OK, so as you can see, we have uh, a cool effect with this uh, this place and you can combine this with other effects with uh, a lot of the effects to create that effect that you want so i hope this information was helpful and i hope you learned something today and if yes don't forget hit that like button that helps a lot subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time i'll launch a video until then bye